what's up guys just gonna try to catch up on everything um that hatched out from basically new year's till now i don't know if i have time to fit much more than that in here this thing's dying to get out of here i had to move it up to a taller container and it's still hopping out of this one but anyway this thing's really awesome pretty much everything from the white and yellow even the things that didn't look like they uh they actually got the white and yellow jeans still look nicer than most of my average bells and all the snow stuff is really cool also but anyway this thing's got this real cool hot orange stripes down the sides I wouldn't call this a red stripe at all um Jamie did say he's got a lot of red stripe um bred into his bells but this is just more or less from the white and yellow similar to patternless stripes kind of get something like this but you couldn't see it, uh, you only could see like little streaks up by its shoulders. For anyone that saw it when I was younger, a lot of this wasn't there before. And um, a lot of the lavender on the sides, you can see little spots of it where it looks pretty cool. But a lot of that kind of got taken over by the striping. The head looks a lot whiter now too, it doesn't have that pink hue like when they're, uh, when they're young. Anyway... Definitely very cool and definitely a hold back. I love their eyes too. Um, my, both my male from them and my uh, female snow have, um, the, you know, neither one of them are visual radars, but they have really bright red eyes. Lots of veins and stuff like that. So um, it's pretty cool that even the head eclipses uh, or possible head eclipses still have the really cool cherry red eyes. I'm gonna put this thing away, it's dying to get out of the light. Now in the beginning when this thing hatched out, I wasn't 100% sure. I mean, I'm still not, not an expert at it by any means, but the uh, white and yellows, this is my first season hatching them out. But the, um, it, even before all this tangerine started to show on the head, it had like almost a perfect V of really bright tangerine. And, um, you know, obviously it has that little bit of lavender in between, but you could just see that, like, that showed more than anything when I was younger. But now, uh, the whole body has really turned tangerine, the stripe's still holding up, which is pretty cool. I mean, it's still young, but still gotta miss all the color left in the stripe. Has a little bit of that white streak that it had when I was younger, but, um, they, they almost always fade away, at least with all my stuff. But like I said, even if um, this, you know, still possibly isn't a white and yellow, um, it, it's definitely nicer looking than any of the stripes I've ever hatched out. And especially, it's not even a radar. It's just a possible hat also. But the color on this thing, um, if I get, I wouldn't put it next to my Inferno because he's just way too big. But um, he looks damn near as nice as the Inferno. And this should be a male. I haven't checked it recently, but uh, it's getting big enough that I should I should be able to see pretty soon, if not already. Now this thing pretty much was my favorite when I hatched out, and it still looks awesome. It did uh, its its front right leg. It injured like probably like two weeks in, I think. It might have been three weeks old tops. Oh man, as you can see, it's climbing and uh. It does pretty well. It, it gets up on top of its hideout and everything because it's always pooping up there. But definitely seems to have healed up pretty well. But I was devastated when it got hurt. It, it only hopped into its cage, but um, it landed funny. And I actually had one other one that did that also. And that's the same thing except for it was the back legs. But anyway, this thing looks awesome. I want to say it's just a white and yellow radar. I don't think um, a couple of these that I originally had snow, they, they just, um, they're too bright, um, too much uh, vibrant color. Definitely don't have that like pasteled out color of a snow. I think the white heads, what, what's really been throwing me off because I'm not used to seeing that much, even on my radars. I'll try to get them out of the light, maybe we'll open his eyes. But anyway, this thing's really cool, and like I said, hopefully um, it, it does fine. I mean, it, it looks like it gets around pretty well. It's stumbling a little bit trying to climb on this. But definitely one of the favorites from this year. This was also one that kind of fooled me a little bit in the beginning. It had more of a snow appearance than uh, than that last one. 
But I believe this is just a white and yellow radar also. And I don't know if you can see, I don't know what that is coming in on the side, if that's just um like a blotch of what would have been striping. Hold on one second. Or if it might be um a pretty cool paradox spot from the white and yellow, but I'm sorry, it's not really focusing, but I think you already got a little view of the color. It'd be right behind its left arm. But this was the other one that injured its legs, and as you can see it's it's moving pretty well. It pretty much when it jumped, it, it just did a little belly slide. It's its front legs landed fine. Um the back legs, I don't know what happened. It basically did like a split, like a sideways split. That's why you don't call anything your favorite. <laughs> As soon as I started calling them my favorites, both of them got hurt. Hopefully you got a, a little shot of that. Like I said, there is some uh, orange outlining on that the lavender there. So it could just be some of that that's a little bit blown out. Definitely an awesome looking gecko and I love that little like um, V shape on the head there. I don't have one in here to, for contrast, but um, you probably already tell just like a totally different tone of color on this one. I love that it's got solid red eyes on both sides. But anyway, extra white legs, which is also probably coming from the snow. I normally get get more white in the uh, front legs, but not a whole lot in the back. And as you can see, this thing's pretty whited out. And when it was hatched, it, uh, like none of this color was here. This was all like pretty much transparent. And this was the second gecko. I, I was just looking at the container earlier, and I, I thought it was funny. Um, I did talk to Jamie a lot before I bought the mail, but uh. The snow on the container is actually penciled in afterwards. They, they have like real nice labels printed out on everything and you can see they wrote it in with pen. Because uh, my mail is definitely a low expression white and yellow so I'm sure it was hard to tell exactly what they had. But obviously this thing proved out a whole lot all in one shot. And he's actually also um, assisted on proving out some of my females that I hatched last year that were breeding this year that were possible hats. I've already gotten a radar from a female that um this is her first year, which is always nice. I really like the dark color. I mean, this even in person, it almost looks black, which is pretty cool on an albino. I guess it's real realistically, it's a really dark brown, but it, it gives off like a almost black appearance on that pastel out yellow, and then the really white head, and um like I said, the white legs. That same female that I was talking about actually produced both of these. The one on the um, your left would be a uh, temperature sex male, and the other one should be a female. And the male actually has um, some eye pigment. I've talked about that before. But as you can tell, if you look at their heads, especially now when they're younger, there was a little bit of a difference. But um, if anything, the one that doesn't have eye pigment has a whiter nose. More of an eclipse look, but I don't believe neither of them really are. I think this is just, um, like I said before, just false eclipsing, which is very common, especially in bell albinos. I think it flipped itself over. But yeah, these are really cool. Um, especially this one was, was totally white. They're just now starting to get a little bit of a yellow hue to the color on the back. The male I'm probably actually going to end up selling because I have um, more than enough snow stuff at this point. Now this is another one from that female followed by the uh, white and yellow. I don't think I hit the white and yellow on this one either. It, it has a decent amount of tangerine and everything and it looks cool but it doesn't have like that. It doesn't pop like the other ones. That other stripe, um, the non-visual eclipse, uh, it definitely had a lot more color than this. And like I said, it had that uh, pretty obvious V up the, he the head. Um, this thing's got a lot of white on it, it looks like, but um, definitely looks different.
still very cool. It's definitely um, going to be a holdback. But I'm going to show you another one that uh, I produced that's, that's from my stuff, my original bells. And you'll be able to see the difference right away. Now this is what I produced that's basically um, all luxurious leopard's blood. And um, this to me is really what a uh, what a normal like stripe radar would look like. I love both looks. I love the, um, the more tangerine body on the one. But um, this is what a lot of mine came out like. And this is what most of the females um, came out like last year. And I held back all the visuals. This guy right here, he's going to end up being sold. I have enough females to keep producing this look. And like I said, I, I, I like them both. I like them with more tangerine. But um, I also like that these retain a whole lot of that lavender. And I like the yellow and lavender look also. Like I said, to me, to me this is, I mean, this is what I was sold on when, when I bought my originals. This was what I was shooting for. I didn't have the money to buy a nice, you know, thicker, bold striped uh, visual radar. But this is what I was shooting for in the beginning. Well, this guy's very jumpy right now. Obviously, this thing's not from this year. This was one of my older ones that I held on to. And um, this thing went through a huge tramf transformation just like they all do. But um, I really, uh, like, at one point, it started really getting green and losing a lot of color. And it just had, like, a dull look to it. And um, I was a little down because this thing was pretty bright tangerine in the beginning. But as you can see, the color's really coming back. I'm inside right now, the sun's down right now, so this is pretty dull lighting, but this thing looks pretty awesome in person. Still has a little bit of green around where the pattern used to be, but other than that, it's pretty bright. Well, this is another one the camera definitely doesn't really get its true colors too well. But this thing was another one that really um, threw me for a loop. It started out pretty bright orange. It was definitely one of the nicer ones, especially the head. The head was more of like a reddish orange. And it totally faded out to like this whited out. Like it has some greens in there, especially on the pattern. It just looks so uh, unique compared to the rest of them. I'll show you the clutch mate in a second. I'm thinking, I'm thinking about selling the other one. But uh, this thing I'm definitely going to hold on to. This is a visual eclipse. Like I said, that's the clutch mate to that one. But I had almost the same exact thing. This one was pretty bright yellow. Started having that little bit of a tangerine tint to it. It definitely looked brighter and cleaner than any of the other ones that I hatched prior. And it's uh, more of like a true patternless look. Without all the spots. But anyway... Definitely very interesting. Like I said, I wish um, it would probably look better in the sun, but this thing I miss looks like it's shedding all the time. But, like, uh, it doesn't look so, like, um, hazy and gray like, like it would if it actually was not shed. Pretty cool. Well, these are going to be all the new ones. This one looks like it might actually be going in the shed, or it's just changing a little bit. You can see the head on that thing looks pretty awesome. I would say everything from these last two um, groups, like they all hatched out all within about a week of each other. They all look real nice. Just more tangerine to start out with and uh, the heads changed a little bit faster and stayed darker. I'll show you the clutch mate in a second here. Clutch man might not be as bright, but it's still really nice looking. It has a whole lot of pretty bright orange that goes down into the neck. Both of these two are in the uh, shed box and look a little bit faded, but you can still see the color on the head's pretty nice. Like I said, the other one's probably a little bit nicer and it's uh, it's a day older, but it's a lot bigger. So 
Let's definitely change a little bit more. This one definitely looks like it's going in the shed. Normally this one's probably got the nicer looking head out of the two of these. So like I said, you can still just see more tangerine showing at a younger age. These are from the 19th and um, the other ones are from the 18th of January. Like I said before, there's always a big size difference that one female throws some pretty um, long bodied babies. Now these guys both came bolting out into my hand, so I figured I'd put them both in there at the same time. But as you can tell, they're just now starting to get a little bit of color in the heads. And these last couple groups I'm going to show you are all from within a few days of each other, so they're all about the same age. Once again, you can see a lot, a lot of tangerine showing on them, even at a young age. You can see how yellow that one is versus this one right here. This is what most of mine were hatching out in the beginning, like... A little bit of red orange on the head and some tangerine on the legs also. More or less yellow and black. Not like this thing. Well, like I said, all these hatched out within a day of each other. And within a couple of days of that last group. So we got an eclipse on the left and then just a possible head eclipse on the right. All these guys are 100% Het Bell and they all come from um, pairing my Blood Emerine to my, some of my radars and uh, some of the just um, Bell Het radar females. So anyway, these are from my original female, the one that produced my very first babies. So these are actually the daughters of the very first girl we ever hatched out, my first radar. But anyway, this thing is super dark. I never actually had one hatch out this dark. You can see the head hasn't changed at all, which is pretty cool. But um, yeah, like I said before in some of the other videos, you, you can see the um the heads don't really turn much right away. They're not all that impressive, and if anything, this is one of the lighter heads. The other one from the last set um barely really changed. It had a little bit of a white streak in the middle. This thing's pretty cool. It's got really dark legs, too. Now these two are the two from the Paradox pairing. And they're really nice looking. It's kind of hoping for um, some of the tangerine to fill out on the body, but either way, the head still looks really awesome. The camera definitely doesn't uh, capture it very well. Just a funky color up by the where the white spots from the which is possibly from being head eclipse, but um, those two lighter areas, but all in between there, it has kind of a cross look in person, or it's just a totally different color from the nose and and near the uh, black outline. And it might be hard to tell, but this one also has a similar little uh, weird patch on top of its head. Pretty much the same location. And like I've said before, I mean, um, the, this is, they're way too young to tell anything that, that could turn, turn out totally normal. But um, Dave did say he could kind of see a little bit of the spot on the one's head before it actually grew up and, and it became obvious. These guys are a little mad that I just switched them back over, but anyway, this is the group from today. I showed these guys on Facebook earlier. That's a radar right there. There's a pretty cool one um, up in the corner from the white and yellow. That band of females, the sibling to the uh, radar here. And then here's another nice jungle from the white and yellow. Doesn't really have any strong markers for um, white and yellow or anything like that, but we'll see what happens. This one's definitely the cooler of the two. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I'm definitely going to show some of the older stuff, too, but uh, I didn't want to run this video over a half hour.